With Packsip's branding portal, you can create branded themes for your web browser users in just minutes. It's easy. Just sign up, create and download your theme, and you can apply it to all your web browser users in just minutes. Of course, you can also make individual themes for every single VMR if you want to. If you don't have an account yet, go to brandingpexip.com and hit register. Enter a username an email address and the password. You will now receive an activation email. Click it to activate your account. And now you can go ahead and log in. So now you can change all the themes you have access to. If you just registered and your group, which is your domain name, does not have any themes, this will now be an empty list. So let's go ahead and build a new theme. So we'll call this theme Madman. This is our demo theme. And we'll supply a company name. The name used at the top will normally be used for folder names, etc. So uh, if a company name is Madman Inc., you would typically just call the name Madman. For each theme, you can replace both colors, images, languages, and other parameters. So in this case, for the images, we'll uh, go ahead and uh, use a few images we have uh, in a folder. So we'll hit choose file and uh, for the background we'll use a large image which is a JPEG format in this case could be both JPEG and PNG this uh, web page will automatically resize it to uh, appropriate size more or less 720p but you can upload a much bigger picture if you like the logo the next image should be a transparent PNG if you only have a JPEG image and not a transparent PNG I will suggest try to make it a transparent PNG. You will understand why later. So in this case we'll take the logo PNG and it will also be resized to maximum 300 pixels wide to fit the web app. These are the two most important images in branding the web app. If you also want to replace the conference avatar and the favorite icon you can do that as well. The avatar is normally a 4x3 image which will be rounded in the corners and the favorite icon could be any format but if you use a PNG image which is also a square format the transparency will also work in uh, in certain browsers so let's start with this and go ahead and save this theme and preview it so this is now the brand new theme we have built and if we want to compare it to the standard theme the standard theme would look like this, with a Pexip logo and a standard background, while our new theme will have the Madman logo, and now you can understand the transparency to allow the, the grey color of this box to be where the logo does not have any elements. When joining a conference with a standard theme, it will show the uh, roster list, the conference avatar, and no background currently. While in our new Mad Men theme, when we connect to a conference, it will show the custom avatar we uploaded, a transparent background, which includes the, uh, the background image, so it's a little bit more personalized. We can also go ahead and change uh, colors. So if we go back to the theme, go into Edit It, now we can see the images that we have put up. We can choose to delete them by checking clear and then uh, save. But let's say we are happy with the current images and we'll go ahead and look at the colors. So the different colors used in the web app can be found by looking into the documentation or reading the help text. In most cases you may want to change the primary background. So as an example in this case I'm going to use a color picker as an extension in Chrome and just pick the color of Don Draper's suit. This will copy the HTML code of this color and I will use that as my primary background. So see it's a brownish color so just change it slightly. 
that's the only color I will change in this case. So in addition you can also assign additional languages. These are different language files that exist for the Pexip Infinity web app. In this case we'll stick with English, but if you assign a different language you can also change the default language for new users going into this web app. In addition you can specify the server address which will be the conferencing node that uh, will host the Pexip Infinity conference. So if you want to point to your own Pexip Infinity deployment, you can input your Pexip Infinity server address here, assuming it's available from the public internet. You can also set some settings like the default dialout protocol, which is currently SIP, and the default bandwidth for users joining the Pexip Infinity web app. And you can also choose what bandwidth should be allowed to choose from, so maybe you don't want the maximum 1.8 meg option, you can remove that one. You can also say if the web app should automatically start media, if you don't want the camera selection ahead of uh, join time, you can choose the default setting for disconnection, if it should uh, give you a small prompt, or you can choose if the presentation should be full motion. You can also put in additional CSS in this field. So let's assume we want to have the background image in a fixed position. For example, in this case, the Pexip logo is just part of the background image. But as the window gets resized, this image may disappear. So if we want to insert some CSS to lock the background image to the right bottom position, we can go ahead and save this and do a new preview. And now the lower right corner of this window is always fixed. So regardless of how you resize it, the logo will always be visible. So now you can go ahead and download this theme and you can choose what version it should be valid for. So the most recent version at the time of this recording is Flexit version 10. So go ahead and download the Madman theme and this can now be uploaded to the Pexip Infinity conference nodes or on a reverse proxy. Thanks a lot for watching and good luck with your branding.